How do we know what stars are made of? Before getting into the meat of the video, it's customary to explain the history. Before Newton, it was thought that white light was a color of light and that it could be modified to turn into other colors. For example, if we put a red piece of plastic in front of a beam of white light, the beam would turn into red. When Newton took a prism and placed it in the sun's rays, he saw all the colors of the rainbow. Different colors of light had to bend to maintain their speed. This is called a refractive index. So when they left the prism, they would separate. What does that tell us? Well, it tells us that white light is just all the colors in the visible spectrum. What Newton didn't notice, though, was the black line slices in the spectrum. Something was blocking particular wavelengths from reaching us. What could it be? This is called an absorption spectrum. But first, let me say that the prevailing idea in the early 1800s was that the sun was a burning mass of coal. In an 1863 paper, it was proven that the sun would only shine for about 5,000 years if that were the case. So how do we know what the sun and other stars are actually made of? You could say plasma, but that's just a state of matter, so it's rather vague. So let's talk about the elements. For this, we need to jump back to the absorption spectrum. You can think of the dark lines as the fingerprints of certain elements. When light from a star shines through the star's atmosphere, it interacts with the elements in the atmosphere. See, elements have a nucleus and electrons orbiting the nucleus, and each element absorbs very specific colors that corresponds with moving the electrons in very specific ways. For example, we know the sun has sodium in its atmosphere because of the fingerprint it leaves in the absorption spectrum. The fingerprint is in the yellow part of the spectrum, and when we heat up sodium in a lab, it emits yellow light at the exact frequency it blocks out in the sun's atmosphere. You can do this for every element. Here on Earth, we can conduct experiments to see what colors the element emits and which one it absorbs. And that's how we know what stars are made of.